It is the drum that speaks to the people. That is what uh, it's uh, 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 termed as a message coming out from the chief to the people. Now, when we are talking about nationwide, nation can talk to nation through these drums. Ghana can talk to Togo through these drums. This is a talking drum. Africa is beautiful movement and rhythm. And ever since I first started playing drums, I was hooked. I was seduced by this rhythm. My name is Ray Pereira, and I'm a percussionist based in Australia. I've always been passionately interested in African rhythm and music. And I wanted to find out more about the people and culture that gave birth to it. The music that has inspired me for so many years. Africa was calling me. On my first visit to Ghana, I met musician Ni Teti Tete, who introduced me to an amazing world of music and culture. my 
students to study with Tete and his group. What a welcome. It's our first morning here, and the students have already selected their drums. Everyone's looking forward to the first lesson. Seems like even the hotel staff are getting in on the act. Welcome to the Kusum Study Center. And I'm Tete Tete. Kusun Study Centre is a place we're putting together to preserve Ghanaian music and culture for our children. We want to teach them that their culture is very beautiful and rich. not for Ghanaians alone, but it's for Africa and people all over the world. My soul would be very sad if we don't share this with everyone. Being here in Ghana, gives the students a chance to go deeper into the music. They start learning how to speak with the drum, not just play it. These lessons are just the first step to getting in touch with Ghanaian rhythm and movement. It's time now for the students to hit the streets and shake it. dance gets the rhythm into their bodies and gives them the feel for the music. But judging by the reaction from the crowd, I'm not sure if they've got it yet. talking to my people about what we're doing to our own culture. And everybody loves it, you know? And I hope they all enjoy what we're doing. They miss what is happening here. They really miss what is happening. So you see, everybody is standing here, clapping, singing. They know all the songs, naturally. You play, everybody can sing what we're singing. It's just like this. There are some of the people who don't know the song, but you sing it once, and it's there. You know, but the television, on the televisions, on the radios, it's American music, and 
The children go to school, they come home with big trousers, high heels, like they want to dress like Americans and all these things, you know. So I'm trying to tell the people that we're really losing these beautiful things that we have. As part of Tete's quest to preserve Ghanaian music, he gathers musicians from all over Ghana to perform for us. Yanoba and his group are from the north of Ghana. He plays a traditional two-stringed instrument called the moro. The three girls are sisters, and don't they love to perform? students to the port of Jamestown to show them the connection between everyday life, rhythm and movement in Ghana. The fishermen sing their boats in. I'm amazed the strength that these songs and chants give them. They never leave these songs at home. They're just as important as their nets. Makes the fish taste good by putting beef in the fish. So fish is not good by itself. Oh, you put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Teddy and I are jamming with Abukari, who is playing an instrument from the north of Ghana called Gunje. Instruments from different traditions need to be in tune with each other before they can be played together. Problem, they're not together. If they can't play together, the music will not survive. So, down at the market, behind the dried bats and the skulls, Teddy goes in search of well tuned instruments. I'm doing this because all these bells have different keys, you know, they are different keys. So, and sometimes you don't get in the right key, so when you're playing, you don't get the right sound out of the bell. We, we, maybe when you're singing and you're playing the bell, it sounds very hard. So we try to use this electric tuner to try and get the right pitch. If by going through all the markets, sometimes when we have to buy bells, it takes us like a half day or whole day going through all the bells in the market. And you can go through all the bells in the market, you can buy only four bells. The people are not treating the instruments well, they're not making the instruments well. So we, fighting for the surviving of African instruments, we really have to work on it and make sure it's made well. Same as the drum, same as the flute, same as the other instruments. So this is Thomas, uh, Thomas Sakura, the first xylophone player of the Pan-African Orchestra. And so now when he's tuning, you're doing it by ear? Yeah, but now we're going to use the tune. Yeah, but say if we didn't have the tuner here, yes, uh, you do it by ear, so you'd shave a little bit and then how, you, how would you test it? You'd hit it with something? Yes. And then you shave a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. When you want the key very high, you use this hat to hit here, isn't it? And then when you want the key to come very low, you go right in the middle here. Oh, this is perfect. perfect. But you need to go high a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Down, a little bit, down, come, go here, and then a little bit. Thomas Sakura comes from the Lobi people of Ghana. He is performing a traditional Lobi dance with his wife and children. Performances like this give Teti's own people, the Ga, a chance to see and hear music from other regions of Ghana. Back at the rehearsal grounds, the students are working on their own unique dance styles. Why? 
Okay. Ah. 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 Zim. Ah. 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 Why? Ah. 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 Bum. Ah. 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 Overseas students find our rhythms quite challenging, but for us, these rhythms are second nature. We grow up around these rhythms. Our mothers carry us on their back when they're working, when they're pounding, when they're washing, singing, and all these rhythms goes right into us. To help get these rhythms flowing right into us, we're here to watch Teti's group perform. This is a war dance from the Ewe people. into the tour and the students are starting to feel confident about performing and the locals think it's good value as well. that goes with the music. Over here, everything starts with pouring a libation, a prayer or a call to the ancestral spirits, accompanied by an offering of another kind of spirit, apateshi, or the local jinn. I like it. The ancestral spirits are asked for their blessing and guidance to help make the ceremony a success. These traditional ceremonies are sometimes referred to as voodoo in the West. Yes. 
Before traveling abroad and after returning to Ghana, I always go to my grandfather's house, which holds the village drums, and pour libation to my ancestors to show respect and to give me luck in the future. This is my faith. I believe my ancestors are with me everywhere I go, and they will guide me and watch over my family. A lot of people find traditional festival, ritual and healings evil. Voodoo has become a negative thing. It was much stronger in the days of our great grandfathers. to a voodoo festival at a village just outside Accra. The young men come from clans that traditionally led the village into battle. They undergo a special ritual, emerging in a state of trance, possessed by the spirits. It was quite an experience for the Australians seeing a voodoo ceremony firsthand. It hasn't rained for weeks. The voodoo spirits are called upon. Amazingly, the heavens opened up and it poured. In addition to voodoo festivals, naming ceremonies and funerals also help keep the traditions alive. This is where the elders pass down their knowledge. At this funeral, the old women sing the history of the people while playing ancient instruments like the gourd. While others just can't help themselves.
This rhythm, known as the palogo, is one of the most popular rhythms in Ghana. Odake is one of the new generation of drummers keeping the tradition alive. He is developing a new style of playing, using three drums to solo on, with only one support drum. This man, Otto Lincoln, created the Palago back in the 50s. Lincoln, together with his friend Franklin, made the Palogo famous all over Ghana. As its popularity grew, younger musicians started adding some extra movements which led to the Palogo being banned in the 70s. Otto Lincoln and the sexy hip movements have survived and the Palogo continues to be part of popular Ghanaian culture. Like the voodoo spirits, we've been possessed by the rhythms for four weeks now. It's time for us to perform our own magic for the local people. to perform at Bookham Square in the heart of Jamestown. The excitement is mounting and the procession is gaining momentum as people come out of their houses to join us.
It's what they are going to display here. Next time, baby. Next time, baby. In Ghana for four weeks, studying our music and culture gives the Australians strong spirit to perform for 5,000 Ghanaians at the Bukum Square. I never forget this moment. It's a great day.
Remember, we have a saying, Uti ukuswa, uti ukokoma, which means if you eat your eggs, you eat your chickens, and we will go angry with our coaches in future. Everyone was a bit nervous before the gig, they hadn't performed before, and the first time, and they're doing a dance that's in this, that comes from here, so for them to perform in front of these people, it's a very heavy duty thing, but they were fantastic, and I'm just going to go over there and give them all a big hug. Funtere mae matuzaya, langa funtere mae. Fume fume funtere ma funtere ma daya. Fume fume funtere ma funtere ma daya. Langa funtere ma tere ma shidaya o. Funtere mae, langa funtere mae. Fume fume funtere ma funtere ma daya. Fume fume funtere ma funtere ma daya. Langa funtere mae. Azina o, the Azima o, Azina o, fire. Zilo, Azina e, Zilo, Azina o, Azina o. Zilo, Azina ye ye ye, Zilo, Azina o, Azina o, fire. Zilo, Azina. Musician Nate Tete.